<laughs> I am so tilt right now. I'm winning above 50%, but my session is like absolute trash. You can see in my T100 light tank, I'm barely doing my hit points in this vehicle. And uh, like, this is tilt. I'm, <laughs> I'm playing badly and I want to have a good fucking game. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to record while I'm tilt and uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I really, really want a good game. What's been happening is I've just been getting the five minute games where like your whole team wins like the weird side of the map that your team never wins and then pushes through and it's like you should know. Yeah, like a map like this. For example, for this to be a typical game today, my entire team would all take their heavies to the field. We'd win the field and I'd be like, where's my damage? Because our team would do well in the field. It's a weird day. And um, I think what I have to do in this game is I have to lower my expectations because otherwise it's like... It's just the way it is. I have to be more chill about it. So what we're going to do here is slow my game down. I'm in a bad mood, and when you're angry, you often play more aggressively than you should. And then also when you're recording, like when I record, I play like how someone from the forums would expect you to play. You know, like they would expect a light tank to be scouting at all times. And if the light tank dares to shoot his gun, <laughs> he's doing something wrong. So I'm going to chill out about it. We're going to see what type of game we can have. And... Uh, the main goal here is actually to survive all games. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop up and try to spot the field initially. Now, normally you don't get spotting damage in this type of opening play, but you do get information because, you know, you kind of want to figure out which mediums are going to the field and which mediums aren't. And so what I'm going to do is we can go up to here. This is actually really aggressive. More... I get out spotted. So probably that means a light tank's in here. Like an MX-13105 has great camo. And that means we lose our HP right at the beginning. Okay, so it is what it is, like, I didn't beat the MX-13 into position, now I'm down a lot of my HP, and we still want to try to live all game. That's the goal. <laughs> Christ, what a great start. <laughs> down 30%. So I think the best thing for me to do is just kind of try to spot this guy, keep him lit, try to get spotting damage, because I am trying to mark this tank. And if I can just proxy spot the same object 430U, that seems like a reasonable play. Anything in the field, as far as I can tell, is a bad place. So a tree just fell down here. To me, that'd be the STRV. Oh my lord. This game's tilting me. <laughs> Alright. And now we're getting pushed by a Progetto. Fantastic! Alright. Wonderful. Great game. Same situation. This is another rough map. And... There's six TDs. <laughs> six of them <laughs> and we're in a light tank so as a light tank it's kind of our job to try to spot them eventually and we know they're all going to be in c4 but how do you spot tanks in c4 that's a good question i don't have the answer now what i think i might do to start off is all my games have been winnable all my losses have been winnable if i didn't die early so i think what i'm going to do to start off is i'm going to make a play that won't get me hit by a tank destroyer at the very least We'll go to A9 and we'll just look for a shot on a scout who's going there. What we're going to do is we're going to start off with one shot of damage. And if we can make that work, I'm going to count that as a victory. Because then we need one more shot to beat our high score of 500 damage last game. So, oh, hi. Yeah, let's see what this EBR finds. The EBR scouting run is going to be so nice because we get so much information from it. What it means is, oh, fuck. Okay. We didn't crash. We didn't flip. That could have been really bad. What it means is, like, we know that there's no mediums really coming over here, and, like, I feel comfortable fighting an EBR who's low HP. He's definitely not going to YOLO me, which is kind of what I need. Let's see. Is there anyone here just in case the EBR missed him? No. We have support, so I'm okay committing like this, I guess. And what I think I'll do is shoot this guy. Good. Okay, that's a shot of damage. Do I fight anyone else? I think I can maybe hit this WZ. No, I can't. So I'm not going to poke because there's probably tanks here who they see me now and they might look for shots. We're just going to play it safe. We've done 300 damage. Better than last game so far. Because <laughs> we've done damage and haven't taken a hit. Now, this guy's here, so he's taking my position. I'm okay with that. Like, I don't really... There you go. Let's get out of here. Perfect. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to fall back. We're going to try to analyze the situation. Um, my An aggressive play that I could try is going here to try to spot the people sitting at C4. That might work. It might be okay. It's definitely aggressive, but I don't know if it's bad. Like, it might be 
<laughs> my inclination is to not take risks given my session. We'll see. The thing is, all that EBR has to do is sewer scout me and he'll ruin my game, so. We'll play it by ear, I guess. I think what I'd rather do is I'd rather come to this area. And we're not going to get damage on the mouse, but maybe if someone makes a play, we might be able to help out somewhere. Or, maybe I could try to spot these guys? Okay, so this is a YOLO scout, for sure. And now I'm spotted. The WZ's there. I wondered what would happen if I chilled here. Die. That's, what ex that's exactly what's going to happen. This was a retarded play. Good. And we're just going to try to get safe here. Dude, I didn't spot the grill? That sucks. So I made a Swiss scout, didn't spot anyone? Probably wasn't worth it. We're up to a thousand damage. I need to chill out. I made a stupid play, I don't want to throw away the game. Like, the fact that I'm alive is really lucky. What's the next thing? This guy's gonna push in. I really want to join the Super Conqueror to try to get damage out of this game, because you can see it's starting to be a raffle stomp. And this is the type of game that will often, like, make me kind of upset. <laughs> <laughs> because if we win and I do nothing, it sucks. Now, here's an STRV. Where's the FV, though? Okay. If you were the FV, where would you be sitting? You'd be camping a corner like a bitch, waiting for someone to drive around. Fuck. I wish I tracked that guy. Okay. I think what I'll do is we'll just pick up speed. Because I need damage. And that's damage. I just want the track for the assist, man. Please, no one to try. I need the tracking shot. Good. Okay, we have the track. That's going to give us assist, and now we can farm damage. Finally. And we can also go for fires, which is probably the better play to do on an AFK. Oh my lord. Finally. And it. this is good, because I didn't YOLO the FV, which is what I would have done. You know, and that probably would have gotten me killed, because he's right there. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so we're not pushing the FV. We're going to wait till someone till an opportunity presents itself, like this. It's probably look. oh. I'm so lucky. I don't deserve to be alive right now. <laughs> All right. 277's gonna get shot, or the grill. One of these guys is, hopefully it's not me. Good, and now we can push into the T95 E6. Cause this guy's very dead. So a lot of people will make a mistake. I've got barely enough HP to take the hit. Damn, am I good. If only I could get enemies that were up to my level. Holy crap. Okay, I need the track. Please, organic. What's with this guy's track? Why is it impossible to damage? Okay. T95 next. We're up to 3k. Can we track this guy? Yes, we can. Good. Hopefully we get assist. Fuck. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> a decent game. <laughs> what is this? I'm not allowed these. Let's play another, because that was a great game, but it wasn't interesting. It was just driving forwards and getting damage. Hopefully the next one is better. Um, I think trying to... You see, it started by being like really patient, and we made a bad play, so we got lucky, but I think next game, because my emotions have been dying down a bit, I will not make another stupid play. I might. We'll see how it goes. So after that one good game, we had a bunch of mediocre games, and basically what's going to happen is I'm done for today. I've played enough tanks. If this game is not good, I'm posting it. I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> not, it's not shit, but you know what I mean. Like, it's a lot. So we're on the map Mannerheim line. It's a standard battle, and I'm beginning to lose my voice. Now, there's a couple things you can do. Oh, shit. This guy wants eyes. Okay. Let's do it. Let's spot for the Jagdpanzer U100. Now, the way I like to spot this is there's bushes here that you can sit in. You can spot a lot, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We could also go to here and try to spot things, but I'm going to try the bushes because I want to learn, right? Like, I want to find out a position, see if it works. I've seen it be very successful, and so we're going to give it a try. Now, what I mean by that is if you put yourself here, you can spot the south, you can spot the west and the north. You put yourself right in the middle of the map, and uh, hopefully the EBR90 doesn't steal all of our eyes. We'll see. He might. I think these bushes might be the most interesting. Okay, so... Alright. Why is an EBR there? That's a good question. I don't know, but it is what it is. Why are all their lights there? That's another good question. <laughs> that's not good. Okay, so probably... Oh, that's a lot of spotting I missed out on. So probably what would have happened is if I had gone... 
Dude, I'm sick and tired of this fucking game. There's three lights here. I'm just gonna try to get out. I think the EBR might kill me, but it's worth trying to get out, I think. Alright, so now we're a one-shot, <laughs> and I really want this to be a good game, otherwise I can't post it. Our initial scouting sucked, it didn't work, and uh, we have no damage, and we've lost all our HP. So, I can sit with the Jagdpanzer 100 and uh, add 300 damage to his shots, <laughs> I guess. I think we have to just wait and wait for opportunities, basically. This guy was hella late, that's impressive. It's never going in, but at least we get a track to give us zero assist. This game, it's very frustrating. <sighs> I don't see an answer. <laughs> I've been trying to figure out where I can go to get damage, and I just don't see it. This EBR might be worth shooting at, but I don't have vents, so my accuracy is even worse than it used to be. Ah, uh, Christ. What is World of Tanks? What is anything? Alright, maybe sitting here will give me some spotting and help me salvage this game. I'm spotted through a solid bush! Dude, that's triggering. He's dead anyways, there's no point shooting at him. This EBR can just YOLO me. <laughs> Good! Shot of damage. <laughs> Can I get a second? I don't know if this is worth trying, but we will. Okay. This guy's not a threat. I'm just gonna try to stay safe, and I think what we'll do... ...is use auto-aim. <laughs> to minimize our risk. Now, probably trying to kill the 49's a decent play. Hello. Okay, we have no shots. Good. Okay, we hit another shot. That's 1500 damage. There's already right there. Good. He's Amorak. That's nice. This guy might come up to my right, but the Leopard's got that covered. Alright, <laughs> that was a shitty game, but we got 3k damage out of it. I think it's time for me to stop. <laughs> I didn't really commentate at the end there, because I wasn't sure if I was actually going to post it. <laughs> um, and I kind of just was tilt. Often what happens is when I talk, I play worse, and it's like I wanted to make the game well, but I wanted to make the game go well, and you can see I brought it, you know, I was a one-shot at 2,834 damage, so I thought that was a well-played game. Definitely haven't been playing up to my standard, but, you know, this everything takes practice. We've won 8 out of 13 games for the session and done 2k damage per game, which is probably very below average for this tank. Yeah, I'm used to doing 2,500, so I didn't do well. My mark of excellence dropped, but 
I actually kind of had fun today. I look forward to continuing to play this tank and uh, expect to see more videos in this thing as I try to two mark it. I think this is one of the harder tanks to mark. I hope it is. Because <laughs> otherwise that's not good for me. <laughs>